Hi, I'm Jane from Poppy Patchwork and yesterday I went to the Festival of Quilts at the NEC in Birmingham. I went up the night before with my friend Emma and we stayed in the hotel so that we could make a nice early start to see everything at the show. So what did we do first? Well, of course, we stopped at the first fabric stand we could find and Emma bought the, her, this fat quarter bundle of cottage cloth in lovely solid fabrics with a bit of a weave. You could definitely make a modern style quilt out of this or I think Emma might make a table runner. Our next stop was at this shed company. They build custom sheds for you and you can house your sewing room inside them. This is something that is really appealing to Emma. Then round the corner from that was the Liberty Stand and here are some of the quilts that we saw. They are really, really beautiful. My favourite one is coming up next. It's this green and blue one and I really like the impression of circles in the quilt. Then we saw the Billings coverlet. This was included in a display of really old historic coverlets and you can see the one on the left is the reproduction of the Brillings coverlet and the one on the right is the original. This section of the show was beautifully laid out and really well lit. It was just a delight to see. And now some shopping. So we went over to the Bramble Patch stand and I saw these lovely fat eighths of Christmas fabric and I absolutely have to buy some Christmas fabric to add to my stash. I've got no project in mind but you can see why I couldn't pass these up. I then also saw this kit for this applique hearts cushion and I really do love applique and hearts. Um, I could make this myself out of scraps that I've got in my own stash, but you know, everybody likes a brand new kit, don't they? And this one in particular comes with a linen um, background and I don't often use linen. So you get it in a box and these are the fabrics you get. And then this is the linen that you get also and you do get the instructions. We then popped over to Kaleidoscope and Kaleidoscope have a massive stand at the NEC with all these books and fabrics. And this is where I topped up on my French general fabrics. I needed some blues and some creams to add to my stash. Again, no particular project in mind, but this was something I'd come to get and there wasn't that much French General around on the stands. Then we moved over to Crafty UK. Now I've used Crafty UK before for my acrylic templates and they will do them as a made to measure for you. But this stand seems to have expanded since I was last at the, uh, the quilt show, which was 10 years ago. So, you know, I'm sure everybody's done different things since then. Now at this stand, this is where I first saw the Beach House fabric by Laundry Basket Quilts and I really, really liked it. It also has this uh, Beach House fabric panel with, I think that's Mariner's Compass um, pre-printed pieces on the, uh, the panel. And on their stand, they had these two quilt ideas. So on the right hand side, you can see this nine patch quilt where they've done the nine patch um, around the corners and then they've 
got these, um, cut out the mar mariner's compasses and put them in. And I thought that was really nice. And then on the left hand side, you can see um, a much bigger mariner's compass. So this is where they've um, created their own templates and they've used the illustrations from the panel and they've made the template and made this much bigger um, mariner's compass. And this really um, attracted my attention. I really liked it. So I had a bit of thinking to do. I went away and came back, but I did buy the um, kit to make that mariner's compass. Now back to some quilts because we are at a quilt show after all. So we went and looked at some of the quilts that we particularly liked and you will see that we do prefer the traditional style of quilting as opposed to the modern style. And whilst we were looking at the quilts, uh, one of the stewards recognised me. Um, Denise is her name and uh, she said hi and she said she remembered coming to my shop many years ago and she took her first patchwork course at my shop. The course was a six week course run by Kirsty and she said she thoroughly enjoyed it and she got the bug for quilting ever since then. So it's a really lovely legacy um, from my bricks and mortar shop for someone to remember me and to say hi at the quilt show. And when we told Kirsty, she was over the moon. Now one of the most striking quilts for me was this um, quilt depicting Tommy Shelby from Peaky Blinders. Now Peaky Blinders is a show in the UK that I really really like and well Killian Murphy is so gorgeous so I absolutely had to take a photograph of this quilt which I thought was really beautiful. So back to more shopping. So um, we went over to Bigger Stitches and got this kit for Kirsty. And then round the corner from Bigger Stitches, we found Jo. Now Jo is my long arm quilter and she has decided to launch her own online fabric shop called What the Fabric. So if you do go to the show, please go and call in and say that I sent you Jane from Poppy Patchwork and have a look at her lovely, lovely stand. It's really uniquely different from all the other stands in the show and what she's selling is really different as well. She's going to be the UK distributor for um, these legit kits, which are foundation paper piecing kits. And don't they look utterly stunning? And finally, the winning quilts had been unveiled. And the best in show was this quilt called, I think, Bear Humans. Um, it's really rather stunning. It's applique with quilting to define the features of the animals. Um, I do like the giraffe there. This one, the best traditional quilt, and this one, the best miniature quilt. It probably measures about eight by eight inches. So totally amazing work on that quilt there. So I'm sorry I didn't get the greatest pictures um, of these winning quilts. It was incredibly busy with people wanting to look at them. So before I finish this video, I just wanted to uh, let you know that 
Um, it's been a while since I've been to the quilt show, been about 10 years and um, in that time my mobility has worsened so in order to go to the show this year I needed to use a mobility scooter and I think that probably affected um, how much I could see. Um, obviously some stands were more accessible than others and some stands were more popular than others and I just couldn't get to the front of some of them to see what they were selling. Those um, vendors that were able to come out and serve me um, obviously um, did get my custom and I really appreciate that. Overall I had a really really fantastic time at the show and the other thing I'd like to say is um, the accessibility team at the NEC were really really superb. They um, met me at my car with a scooter which I hadn't planned but they they were waiting for people arriving in their cars. They took me over to the accessibility office, um, got me on the right scooter for the day, gave me a phone number to call if I had any trouble and escorted me back to my car at the end of the day. So I can't say enough about them. They were really great and it just made the day even better. So who knows, I may be there next year again. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If this is the first one you've seen from me, then please um, have a look at some of my other videos and do take the time to click subscribe, hit the notification bell and do comment and let me know what you think. If you've got the opportunity, do go along to the quilt show. It was really, really good. Bye for now and happy quilting.